the general dynamic market model and software application for support modeling process. Authors Alexander Weissblatt and Nikol Korotev Motivation Economics has entered the stage of deep transformation of its basis. The neoclassical rational man does not exist in reality. In real economic processes, decisions are taken by non-expensive calculations well adapted to frequent repetitions to evolution. It is more efficient to perform multiple experiments with quantity to estimate the demand function than search for non-recurrent achieving of equilibrium. Conclusions in nonlinear economic dynamics were the following. The real economy is dynamical system. Real processes of economy are iterative processes of this system. Modern development of dynamic paradigm in economics is a wide stream of researches. However, it is a stream of examples which are not developing in the general theory. Their relations with real markets are often problematic. General theory. Our subject is a mathematical model of microeconomic markets, that a mathematical theory that exactly describes these objects. This means that it contains basic concepts and axioms and all other statements of it are theorems. And then we can study complex real systems which are grounded on this basis. This traditional method of constructing a scientific theory is taken as a principle of our research. The paper goals. To introduce the general dynamic market model. To introduce the specialized C-sharp application model and to demonstrate the use of the model in building the general market model. The most important goal is to propose cooperation in future research. Step 1. Almost any microeconomic market model is constructed as follows. N firms operate in the market. Let here n equals 2. These firms produce homogeneous products in quantities x sub 1 of t and x sub 2 of t in time period t. They use adaptive expectations that they try to predict the quantity of their competitor in the next time period. x sub i e of t is the expected quantity of rival j by a firm i. In next period t plus 1. When i or j equals 1 or 2, then the firms solve the following optimization problem. Maximum p sub 1 of x sub 1 of t plus 1 and x sub 2 e of t. Maximum p sub 2 of x sub 1 e of t and x sub 2 of t plus 1. Where p sub i is a profit function of firm i. If they use x sub i of t instead of x sub i e of t plus 1, then we call it naive expectations. General view market model. This model is uniquely defined by objective functions of firms and types of their expectations. It does not use any additional presuppositions or limitations. This is a homogeneous market with n equals n of t firms at time t. Each firm I produces output x sub i of t implies the industry output q of t equals sigma from i equals 1 to n x sub i from t product price is given by iso elastic demand function p equals b over q where b equals b of t greater than 0 and q equals q of t its industry output the objective function of a selfish firm is short run profit. Pi of t equals p minus v x of t minus fc. Where v equals v of t is the firm's costs per unit and fc equals fc of t is fixed cost. The objective function of a reciprocator firm. Pi equals alpha p minus v x plus 1 minus alpha cs is a weighted average of its short-run profit p equals pi of t and consumer surplus cs equals csi of t that difference between maximum price that consumer can pay and real price alpha equals alpha i of t is share of short-run profit p in other words pi is a weighted average of short-run profit and expected stable long-run profit 
adaptive expectations. X sap i of t equals x j of t implies x sap i of t equals x sap j of t plus one equals x sap i t plus one equals x sap j of t. If firms I and J are identical at moment T and in particular they have the same planning at moment T, so it is natural to suggest that their production quantities will be equal at next moment T plus 1 2. In general firm I suggests that production quantities of its rival J according this formula. Where delta sap I J of T is greater than or equal to zero defined share of adaptive expectations. Chi sap i j of t is greater than or equal to zero defined share of naive at planning. The value delta, according to this formula, we will call the share of planning with adaptive expectations. And 1 minus delta the share of planning with naive expectations. Main results of the theory. Dependence of general view market model on number of firms on the following graph. The horizontal axis represents the number of firms n from 20 to 50. The ordinate axis represents the output of firm on a tractor. At n equals 21, 25, 2, 45 with doubling, flip bifurcations, continue following Sharkowski's order. At n equals 45 there is a state of dynamic chaos. Dependence between firms profit pi and number of firms n, you can see on the following graph. The horizontal axis represents the number of firms n from 20 to 50. The ordinate represents the profit on a tractor of the same trajectory. The real choice here is unique and depends on quantity of output. The smaller output the bigger firms profit. Profit in chaotic state is on average greater than in stable state. The crucial factors which ensure stability in general view market. The horizontal axis represents the parameter value of 1 minus delta. The ordinate axis represents the output of firm on a tractor. First, at delta equals 1 the unique Nash equilibrium is stable for all possible values of parameters of a general view market model. Second, flip bifurcations, cycle doubling bifurcations occur following all Sharkowski's order and finally chaos state occur with a decrease of delta from 1 to 0. The stability factor of market in chaotic state. The horizontal axis represents the output of firm I on the trajectory, the ordinate represents the output of firm J on the same trajectory. In the model value lambda defined by the, the following formula. Where lambda is adiabatic invariant of a dynamical system that it is almost independent on t at t greater than 2 for all acceptable values of parameters. Phase curve with less level of agreement. Let epsilon ij equals according to this formula where where q of t industry output. Q sap i e of t is prospective industry output expected by a firm i during next time period t plus 1. Value epsilon equals max epsilon sap i j is the level of disagreement and 1 minus epsilon is the level of agreement in other word coherence in expectations in the market. General dynamic theory and the neoclassical microeconomic theory. Albert Einstein once said, no scientific theory will ever be refuted within its own limits. For sufficiently small changes in production per step the dynamics of system has the unique stable Nash equilibrium point with an equilibrium price in the market. Speaking informally, at sufficiently small changes in production per step systems of general dynamic market model turns into systems of neoclassical microeconomics, despite their striking dissimilarity. Conclusions Thus the crucial factors which ensure the market stability are 1. The level of agreement, in other words coherence in adaptive expectations epsilon. 2. The share of planning with adaptive expectations in a market delta. In general view markets in short run period.
If no any firm use naive expectations in the market delta equals 1, there is unique Nash equilibrium which is stable for all acceptable values of parameters. The increase of naive expectations delta tends to 0 leads to stability loss, to flip bifurcations and finally to chaos. At enough great naive expectations increase of number of firms also leads to stability loss, to bifurcations and finally to chaos in general view markets. We revealed that the profits ratio and quantity output ratio of firms remains almost unchanged in short run period provided the coherence is great enough epsilon tends to 1. This is the stability factor of markets for which chaotic dynamics is usual. Thank you for your attention.